EA Sports and the PGA Tour are proud to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. From the stadium course at PGA West, live coverage coming your way of round three of the season opening event, the American Express. You know, for many years, this was Bob Hope's tournament. He, of course, a great entertainer, and we're in for an entertaining weekend of golf. And you look at the leaderboard on this Saturday, our leader is indeed our featured golfer. It has been a textbook performance to this point. So as we continue on into the weekend here at this season opening event, the American Express at PGA West, really a surprise name at the top of the leaderboard. The pressure is about to ramp up here, but how about the performance we've seen so far? A rookie leading this tournament. Oh, what a surprise. Yeah, Rich, you, you, you've nailed it. And, and this is just being an incredible display of golf. To sort of come out here with all the nerves, the expectations, and really nobody talking about you. Everybody is talking right now. And one more day away from, remember, you and I were both on the call. Sony Open, Russell Henley, when he birdied the last five holes to win his maiden tour start. We could see the same tomorrow. Well, this is quite a development. I mean, it has the golf world buzzing. Our featured player not only made the cut in their first ever professional start, but they had the lead through two rounds. Nota Begay the third has followed every single shot. Four-time winner on tour. Nota, this has got to be like a dream right now. Yes, getting over the nerves and the excitement about being on top of the leaderboard through 36 is a process, and now just have to start looking at that final 36. Things are working well for this player. They just have to continue to stick to that same strategy. All right, Frank, what's the player looking at here on the second hole with the approach shot? Well, Rich, notice the, the bunker that cuts into the green on the left side. It turns it into a crescent-shaped green. So really, there's three distinct sections, the one in the back, the one in the middle, and the front. Just be very wary of where the flag is here. That's a decent-sized green. It's not bad, just a little past the hole. A birdie try on the second green, and with that, we welcome four-time winner on the PGA Tour, Nota Begay. And this is a putt pro's practice for hours. Slightly uphill and dead straight. Oh, yes. Plenty of pace to get up that slope. It is in for a birdie. And that'll take her now to 28 under par. Next up, the 471 yard par four third, nicknamed Crescent because the green is a shape like the Crescent Moon. That's to hug the right side off the tee to avoid the large fairway bunker on the left. Just what you want at this point in the round. You're trying to find a rhythm, hit fairways, hit the middle of the club face. That's what they did right there. And this is looking really good. Uh, really nothing wrong with that approach shot. Just a little shy of where you'd like to finish up, but still, one good putt, maybe a birdie. Oh, yes. Plenty of pace to get up that slope. It is in for a birdie. And that is going to move her to a tidy 29 under par. This is a good par three, and it's the first one of the day, the 192-yard fourth. You can see the trouble is that large bunker on the right side. And I think, obviously, you would rather be long than short here. Didn't check, Frank. Yeah, just not enough spin on that, um, really. I mean, that almost like took that first bounce and just ricocheted forward. Oh, everything is coming up 
Rose's four-hour leader. How about this? Holding it from off the green to extend that lead. Up next, the 535-yard par 5 fifth they call double trouble. 314 yards to carry the water on the left. That's a big poke. So if you're feeling optimistic, give it a run. Tishon, maybe a chance now to go after what would be a fifth consecutive birdie. Water definitely in play along the right-hand side for the second here at five. Every bit of that threw it all the way there and got it to stop. Home in two on the par five. Mm, that's going to scoot a foot or two by. Nicely played. It's a birdie at the fifth. And that's going to get her to 31 under par. This is a monster par three, this sixth hole, at 255 yards. On top of it, you're looking at water on the right. The good news is, if that's just a little too much for you to take on, there is a bailout area on the left if you'd rather play it safe. Well, he played it safe, but that's okay there on the front part of the green. Chance now for another birdie. This is a big green and a long hole, so it is not easy to get one close. That is a great shot here at six. And nicely read there. It is a bar here at the sixth. And she'll stay right where she is, well under par. Par four seventh is only 346 yards, but there is trouble down the right side with the water, so you need to be straight here, and it might be a good idea to pull out the fairway wood or even a long iron just to keep it in play. Give yourself a chance at making birdie. No problems there. That's going to wind up safely in the fairway. Second shot. Good look at the green. Ah, good shot again there. Well thought out. Landing the ball short, letting the ball run onto the green. And inside, oh, I'd call that a birdie putt. So that's birdie range. Oh, yes. And the pace to get up that slope. It is in for a birdie. And with it, she'll move to 32 under par. This is one where you can just air it out, as they like to say on tour, let the big dog eat here. Par 5 eighth is 559 yards. There is no water like we had on the three previous holes. Lots of sand here, but this one, tee it high, let it fly, and go chase it.
Oh, the rhythm is definitely there today. Another wonderful tee shot. Now the approach shot here on this par 5 eighth. Struck it so well, you could see that by the reaction of that ball when it hit the green. Landed so softly. Oh, that is a disappointment inside of 10 feet to not be able to get that one down. Yes, getting hot here just before the turn. That's birdies now at seven and eight. And that's going to take her score to 33 under par. Wrapping up the front nine here at PGA West with a 452-yard par four ninth hole. You can plainly see where you don't want to hit it. That's in that water down the right side. So paramount to be on the left if you put that ball where you're supposed to. You have a good chance to finish this front nine with a birdie. Once again, another great tee shot. Uh, I'm starting to wonder how low can you go? And the driving has been simply superb. And this Noda, her second from the fairway. 119 left to the hole, coming off a birdie on the previous, looking for two in a row. Ah, uh, good shot. Safely on the green and a birdie chance. 17 foot putt here. Oh, that one led perfectly. It is a birdie here at the ninth. And that'll wrap up a front side that was absolutely a thing of beauty. How about eight under 28? It's a recurring theme here at PGA West. Avoid the water. That's down the right side. If you do that, this par 4 tenth at just 416 yards offers up a good chance to make a birdie. Saturday of golf here, and this, another fine tee shot. Second shot forthcoming from the left side of this fairway. It's not too bad. Good shot. Uh, inside 20 feet, I would imagine. So a good chance, really an outside chance for Betty. Oh, yes. On your pace to get up that slope. It is in for a birdie. And that's going to get her to 35 under. We come now to the longest hole on the course. How's this? 617 yards, par 5, 11th, aptly named Eternity. It is imperative to miss the bunkers down the left-hand side. Yeah, why not? Another great tee shot. Maybe a chance now to go after what would be a fifth consecutive birdie. So in the fairway, but a pretty good number to carry here for a second to the par five. Oh, 
That's a nice shot right there. Landed just short, released onto the green, and now a chance for an eagle free. Close, couldn't ask for much more on that putt. You bet, a birdie here at the 11. And she'll move now to 36 under par. Up next, the number 18 handicap hold at PGA West. 363 yards, par 412. Left side of the fairway is well guarded by Bunker, so the right side is ideal. Turning out to be a wonderful Saturday of golf here, and this, another fine tee shot. Okay, on the green, but let's go leave a putt that will get your attention. Now this, for another birdie. Slightly downhill, so the ball will carry to the hole and just a little right to left. Mm, not quite online, and that'll drift a couple feet by. That one is safely in, and it's a par here at 12. And that's going to keep this large lead right where it is. Quite a par three here, the 13th at 214 yards. There's water left, not much bailout on the right. That's what a good par three is supposed to be, requiring one well-struck, accurate tee shot. That one, safely on the putting surface. This is a 13-footer. Oh, yes. Plenty of pace to get up that slope. It is in for a birdie. And that's going to move her to 37 under par. Impressive. Once again, at PGA West, we're looking at a hole that's not overly long. It'll tempt you, 389 yards. The key, keep it away from that bunker on the right side of the fairway. So, you're favoring the left. If you get it where you're supposed to, then you can access the whole location. Birdie's a good possibility here. Boy, she just seems to be on autopilot right about now. That, another good drive off the tee. Second shot up coming with that pin tucked in the front left. This could be a good one. A little short, a little left, but inside 10 feet, so even I can't really criticize it. Right around six feet here for birdie. Another rolled in there. Birdie's now at 13 and 14. And she will move now to 38 under par. 15th hole, not surprisingly, is called turning home because we're headed toward the clubhouse now. It's 468 yards of par four, and it's the second toughest at PGA West. So this is all you want. Need to be straight off the tee. If you can get it in play and away from those bunkers on the left and right of the fairway, four is a good possibility, and you'd be happy to make par here. 
turning out to be a wonderful Saturday of golf here, and this, another fine tee shot. Always heading a little bit right, but inside 10 feet, there's nothing wrong with that on this side. Chance now for another birdie. Ah, yes, never in doubt. It's a birdie here at 15. And that's going to move her to 39 under par. We now come to the 600 yard par 5 16th. Avoid the bunker on the left side of the fairway off the tee. And beware of the massive green side bunker on your approach. Once in there, it's a chore to get out. Everything flowing really well right now. Coming off three birdies in a row. Here's another solid tee shot as well. Got every bit of that through it all the way there and got it to stop. Home in two on the par five. A chance for a great round to get even better. This for Eagle. Oh, yeah. That's how you take advantage of a par five. It's in for an Eagle three. Superb. Well, you know when a hole is nicknamed Alcatraz, it is oftentimes not the most pleasant experience. The 17th hole is only 168 yards, but we're looking at an island green, and we're looking at all sorts of trouble, and we're looking at the pressure ratcheting up late in the round. This one has your attention, and on this shot, you need to be almost perfect. A very sensible play there, right in the middle of the green. 18 feet from the bottom of the cup. Now the pace, absolutely perfect there. Down the slope, it's in for a birdie. And she'll move even further under par. Finishing up here at PGA West with a 439-yard par-4 18th. Yet again, we're trying to avoid the water. That runs down the left side of the fairway. If you keep it down the right side, well, then you'll have a chance to maybe get out of here, finish up the round with a birdie three. That is a great number on this finishing hole. Saturday of golf here, and this, another fine tee shot. Frank, this approach shot seems pretty straightforward. Just don't hit it left. Yeah, it's 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 a tough second shot. It's that visual. Once again, you've got that green that's angled to the left. But once again, like a few holes out here, you do not have to hit directly at this flag. You are allowed to move that flag mentally 15, even 20 feet to the right. There's nothing wrong with that. Well, no surprise. We've already seen some great iron shots this week, but that is another one. Now this for another birdie. Yeah, it's a birdie at the last. And that will mean that this is a round of, can you believe it, 55. So our future golfer likely going to be doing a little tossing and turning tonight, working with a 54-hole lead. 
and looking for that first PGA Tour win. Frank, dial it back a few years. <laughs> what's that? A, a, what? a lot of years. Yeah, what, what, what's, that, what's that like? Well, I remember when I was 22, my first uh, professional one was in Australia. And you, you actually don't know. You ask yourself the question. You look at the leaderboard, all those players in front of you. Do I really fit? And then after 18 agonizing holes, you go, I belong. Final round coverage of the American Express comes your way tomorrow, 3 Eastern, noon Pacific. We'll crown our first winner of the season on the PGA Tour. Until then, so long from the Coachella Valley.